Okay, so we've just come from uh, SSP and we're on our way now to TST where Rebel Base is, inside a big shopping center, shopping mall here. And I'm looking forward to actually going to Rebel Base because I've never actually been there before. I'm really excited to see Rebel Base too. I've only ever seen the original, the first one, like you. Yeah. So this will be a first for me. Let's go. Let's go check it out. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel. Once again, a massive thank you to Budget Stark and Ryan Kirkwood for both chaperoning me, showing me around Hong Kong and showing me the various hot toy stores. And you heard the man, today we're taking a look at Rebel Base. I couldn't be more excited because yes, I've seen the original store. I said it in the intro, it's true, but this new store is a completely different beast, even compared to Secret Base, which is still, yes, the flagship location. I don't mean to take anything away from Secret Base. I love the store. I love the location. It's iconic at this point. They've got figures on display. They've got crazy poses going on. But as an actual store, it's not fantastic because you can't really purchase anything. They don't have anything in stock. Whereas at Rebel Base, it's in a very touristy location. And to pay rent... They need to sell figures. It's as simple as that. So they actually do have stuff for sale. They've got new figures and also some long sold out figures as well, which you will see in store in just a second. For the main window though, and on the inside, Cosbabies galore. I did ask why the Cosbabies were at the front of the store and apparently it's a parent trap. Parents are walking along with their kids. They know nothing about hot toys. The kids see the cos babies and they say, Oh, mommy, I want to pick up this big cos baby lotso. So they go in the store and the parents see this black Adam. And chances are when you see something this freaking cool in person, you're probably going to want to buy it. So that's what hot toys are hoping to do with the cos babies. Parent trap. In all seriousness though, I'm so freaking happy I got to see this Black Adam. It is literally the shit. It looks so freaking good. That head sculpt, the body, the proportions, the suit. Yeah, I was blown away. I know. I've already done a figure preview video on pretty much all of these prototypes, but seeing them in person with your own eyes, it's something else entirely, including this Wenwu. That Tony Leung head sculpt, not to mention the crazy tailoring and the 10 rings and the box that they go in, a lot of boxes ticked right there. Now, as for the store itself, the way it's laid out is pretty simple. You've got main glass cabinets, and then flanking those cabinets is either merchandise or actual Hot Toys figures that you can purchase. Down below, we have a Spidey display, and check out those poses. And unlike the secret base video, I'm actually going to tell you who's responsible for the poses, because I met the man, and I shook his hand, because... Dude knows how to pose figures. Now, they did have Carnage on display. This thing is freaking huge. I had no idea how big this guy was. I'd seen the measurements, I'd seen the pictures, but once again, nothing compares to seeing it in person. I have no idea where I'm going to put it in the display. That, however, is a future Justin problem. When he releases, I will figure that out, I'm sure. Now, for the end game display, takes up a big chunk of the cabinet here. We've got two different shelves entirely dedicated to Endgame. And if you were wondering what I meant by merch just before, because Justin, the figures are the freaking merch, I know. They also have some apparel on display. They've got some t-shirts, some hats, and some luggage tags, and just various bits and pieces. Next to that, though, we have the Iron Man cabinet, die-cast Iron Man figures on multiple different levels, and... Once again, look at those poses. Some of these poses are straight fire, and I wouldn't be surprised if those of you out there trying to pick a pose for your display, you pause the video, you scrubbed back, you freeze-framed, and install this pose from Rebel Base, because, like I said, some of these poses, they're absolutely worth copying. And the guy responsible for these poses... His name is Jimmy. Like I said, I did shake his hand and I got a selfie with him coming up a little bit later in the video. Now, moving on to Star Wars, this is a full wall of in-stock figures. There are some figures that have been sold out with some retailers, but they're available from Rebel Base. So if you're in Hong Kong and you just spotted one you want, go ahead and grab it. We do have a Mandalorian display and we also have a 20th anniversary of Attack of the Clones display, with some cheeky prototypes on display, including Padme, Anakin, the clone pilot, and a clone commander. Then right at the top of the cabinet, very small Clone Wars selection. Not crazy, but still gets the job done. Now, down below for the original trilogy setup, 
I love this. Now, it's not necessarily movie specific because there's some A New Hope here and there's also some Empire and there's some Return of the Jedi, so it's a good mix. Then for the Mando display, Mando and Blurg somehow fitting in this cabinet should tell you how big the darn thing is because it is truly massive. And these poses, they really do bring the figures to life. Speaking of bringing figures to life though, this diorama is Awesome. I would love if Hot Toys sold bits and pieces like this. I mean, that wing looks like a gunship wing and Yoda's just jumping off it. They've also integrated a flight pole in there. We also have the pillars from the Geonosis Arena with the crotch grabber integrated into it. I don't know how they did that, but please, Hot Toys, just sell these diorama pieces because they really do set the scene. Seeing Anakin and Padme in person, though, they are are that good. I was worried that they wouldn't hold up, and Anakin's head sculpt wouldn't be as impressive as it is in pictures, but oh, I can assure you that it is that impressive, and the same thing goes for Padme. You may very well be sitting there thinking, Justin, you're just gushing because you saw these in person. When they release, there's probably going to be a drop in quality, and yeah, you're probably right. There might potentially be a drop in quality with the head sculpts, but seeing as though they started off so freaking strong, there is a little bit of room for them to drop down and still be absolutely sensational. Spoiler alert, there are a bunch more Cos Babies in the store. There are multiple different Cos Baby displays, including the big Hulk and life-size ones. Plus, Cos Baby cushions? Yeah, you heard that correctly. If you've ever thought to yourself, oh yes, I absolutely need Batman's head in a Cos Baby style as a cushion, then look no further. You can get that at Rebel Base. Also, they have mugs and light boxes. And Ed 209 and Robocop in chair. Yeah, I didn't think I would ever see those on a shelf in a hot toy store, but they are. You can literally walk into the store, pick them up off the shelf, pay the money, and away you go. Now, they are a little bit pricey, but they're not crazy, especially for long sold out products. Now, this is the DC display, and it just so happens to be the final one six scale display in the store. There are more cabinets, but... They're mostly for cosbabies. Now, down below, we had the QS-19, the new quarter-scale Batman. And at the time of filming this video, he hadn't been released. But now he has. In the background, quarter-scale Joker, the 112th scale The Bat, and also Batman riding the Batpod. Then above that, Cyborg. Why hasn't this guy been released? I have no idea, but he looked damn good in person. Nice and shiny and metallic, and I dig the arms, but... He wasn't wearing the Ray Fisher head sculpt, so I can't unfortunately comment on the likeness. As for the rest of the displays, so many freaking cos babies. People really do like these though, and yeah, all joking aside, I can see why, because they do appeal to collectors for multiple different reasons. Number one, the character selection. There are so many different characters. In fact, there are characters that have been made into cos babies that haven't been made into 1 6 scale figures. So you might even go so far as to say that cos baby collections can be more complete than 1 6 scale figure collections. Also, they've got that cuteness, that kawaii factor. They're a lot smaller, so you can have a lot more of them and take up less space in the collection. And they're relatively inexpensive. Plus, you can get vehicles, I'm pretty sure they're called cos riders. Enough about cos babies, though. This is Jimmy, and Jimmy, you killed it with the poses, my friend. It was a pleasure to meet you, and thank you so much for taking this picture with me. If you are heading to Hong Kong, by the way, go to Rebel Base. Shake Jimmy's hand, give him a wave, take a photo with him, tell him how much you love his poses. Now, the best part about Rebel Base is it's a proper functional store, so if you want to go in, pick up something off the shelf, pay for it, and leave, you can. Most of the stuff in the store, it's for sale, because you saw those big freaking walls stacked with Hot Toys boxes. Whereas with Secret Base, it's more of a showcase location. Hope you've enjoyed the Rebel Base tour. If you are heading down to the description, why not hit that subscribe, bell notification icon, and join button if you like the sound of seeing your name in the end credits of my reviews. Like, comment, and subscribe. We'll catch you in the next video.